wanted to do a video on altitude hold and what I've found doing what I've done here. Now, those helicopters over there, those that is the Will Toys V911 and the Will Toys V912. Uh, and this is the 912 transmitter. It doesn't have altitu altitude hold on this model. It's just got a really, really nice, I mean, this is a really smooth transmitter. And one of the cool things about it is when you buy these uh, bigger models in the same manufacturer, they'll work with the little ones. This thing has never flown better since I started using this. But these don't have altitude hold. They do have altitude hold on helicopters, but these ones don't. So for this, I'm not a big fan of it. I bought this, and this was before I knew that, that they had the HW model, which that always happens, right? Honestly, I probably would have bought the HW. But what I did was I bought this, I flew it a couple of times, um, and then I, I saw through my retail shopping that they had um, a board swap that you could do and upgraded it. So I did it, and I also bought the upgraded transmitter. So I've been practicing with it, and, and you know, I, I don't like the way it takes off. I don't like the way it lands. With the old board and the old transmitter, I mean, you can really have fun landing it and taking it off, and you've just got a different, it, it's just a different kind of control that you have you can use the throttle this it seems like you're always fighting the get down get down get down it always wants to take off um that scares me number one if the transmitter ever loses contact with the with the toy the model i think it's going to fly away and that is a huge thing i'm not willing to put my my fpv equipment on this nothing when i when i first started getting into this i got this trainer just to fly around and it, it it's, there's nothing on here it does flips and that's it it's the SEMA X8 W uh, no it's the C 68 C11 C and it has a little camera on there but it doesn't have altitude hold I think that's really important recently I just got this little guy this is the Cheerson uh, what is it um, CX10D uh, this is a really cool little flyer it has auto takeoff and it has altitude hold, and then it has auto land. This thing acts a lot like this does, which was very interesting. It's hard to land this thing. It wants to constantly keep going up, and you're like, you're trying to force it down with the throttle. If this ever loses contact with this, I think it's gonna fly away. That's something to keep in, in, in mind when, you're, when you have something with altitude hold. I don't believe that um, it's the best for a park flyer when you want to just blast around for a newbie yes but if you're like me and you want to have that interaction i'm thinking of going back to my own board in this but i will say this that i'm building a 250 and i'm also building a 500 a 250 park flyer which i'll be putting um, a cc3d i also just um, ordered um, an sp racing f3 and um we're also going to make a 500 millimeter flight platform for photography, which is about this size. It'll be a little bigger uh, because most of the length is the arms, but it'll be serious. Um, but that's kind of my take on altitude um, hold. It's good for some things. One, I, you know, one thing I'll say about this little guy: you can say what you want about it, but it's fun and and having the altitude hold really lets you learn how to corner and bank. Um, having to that that one up and down um, adjustment out, that throttle adjustment out, really allows you to, to train and, and practice. And I think that's the best thing about these two things is it really helps you train and practice. So would I buy, why, what I know now, would I buy Altitude Hold? Yeah, I probably would buy it commercially installed, but... I really like the way manual copters fly. So that's my take. I hope I didn't say the same thing over too many times, but I did want to make the point. Eventually, we will get into the helicopters. I'm really getting hooked on this stuff. And this board, like I said, I think it's going to go back in the, in, in the old X8. So later.